When I was a kid, man's greatest adventure was going to the moon. But going to the moon wasn't enough. They took a car. The lunar rover always amazed me. And we love pictures of it driving around from Apollo 15, 16 and 17. But how did it get there? I mean, we know that space was extremely limited on the lunar lander and weight was an incredible issue. I mean, uh, when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon in Apollo 11, he had seconds left to touch down safely before he ran out of fuel. How did they take the rover? It all began with this amazingly famous speech. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Of course, J.F. Kennedy. And with his NASA advisor, Werner von Braun, they came up with the idea that men didn't just want to walk on the moon, they wanted to drive on the moon. Various lunar rover ideas were put forward, most of them looking like old tractors. And some looking more like science fiction. But there was a tiny problem. The lunar rover had to weigh no more than 500 pounds and fit in this triangular space underneath the lunar lander. The space is five foot long, five foot high, and five foot deep. General Motors came up with a plan. So they built a model using GI Joe to drive it. The only way they were going to fit the lunar lander into that incredibly tight space was if it folded up. But unfolding it was a different problem. At first things didn't go so well. Eventually they cracked it, and the finished lunar lander was delivered to NASA. Here's some rare footage of it being prepared for launch. July 1971, Apollo 15 blastoff. Hey, the astronauts got out, and their job was to deploy the lunar rover. It must have been a tense time at NASA's Houston Mission Control. Especially for Grumman, who built the Lunar Lander, and General Motors, who built the Lunar Rover.
it all went well and the rover came popping out. Unfortunately, on Apollo 15, the front steering system didn't work. But as the vehicle had front and rear steering, they managed to drive around. In three missions, with three different rovers, they covered over 56 miles on the moon. But the rover had one final trick. It was fitted with a TV camera. They wanted to see the lunar lander take off. There's a delay sending a signal from the Earth to the moon. They had to press tilt up and zoom out before it actually took off. By the time the signal reached the moon, the craft had blasted off and this amazing picture of Apollo 17 beginning its epic journey back to Earth was captured. Now I know, so do you. The truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.